What's up, YouTube? XX Ghost Tricks XX come back at you for another Modern Warfare 2 commentary. That's right, that's right. I got some Modern Warfare 2 for you today. And as you can see, it is The Thermal Experience, Episode 7, M16 Action. That's right. I've had this gameplay for quite some time, mainly because I haven't been putting it up because of, well, Modern Warfare 3, duh. So, yeah, now you know. But anyway, let's get right into it, shall we? So, M16, Thermal Scope. I got Slide of Hand Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Steady Aim Pro. Ah, uh, Stopping Power. I miss you. Modern Warfare 3 so different, isn't it? It's like weirdly the same. It's, I mean, it actually, it really is the exact same game. My roommate really thinks it is. And it's, but that's okay because you know what? We all love Modern Warfare 2 so much. And so why change it that much? Because that's the reason I didn't like Black Ops that much. It was just it's totally different. And I mean, it was good, but it wasn't that good. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 is, like, amazing, and so Modern Warfare 3 is basically, like, a perfected version of Modern Warfare 2. That's how I see it. But, yeah. So, M16, Thermal Scope, it's okay. It's... The only problem with it is that since it's a burst fire gun, and it only shoots three shots at a time, it's quite difficult sometimes with the Thermal Scope, because, you know, when you're scoping in, it's like, you're not, you can't really see much when you scope it. But anyway, as you can see, I'm just going to go on a nice little tear over here. This is a nice spot to uh, camp out if you have B and C on Favela. Oh man, Favela. It's funny to say that because I'm just so used to being like, Oh, what's up, YouTube? I'm playing the game on Hard Hat. Or, you know, Interchange. Shit like that. Anyway, this guy's going to Super Ninja Dodge me without even trying. But it's okay. And if you haven't figured it out, I have my helicopter, my Pavlo, and my third kill streak is the EMP. I don't really remember why I put the EMP on at this point. I might have just felt like getting an EMP. This is such a this is a gameplay that I got very long ago. So and I actually end up right I think yeah, from here on I just end up using not the M16 because I ran out of ammo with it, but I still end up going on like a 33 kill streak or something. So, I mean, with the help of my Pavlo, of course. I mean, come on, you think, think I can do that? And there's my 15 kill Strezik. And, yeah. But M16 with Thermal Scope, it's, it's similar to other weapons in the fact that you can scope in with it and almost quick scope. Because this is a nice little drop shot right here. I would have been screwed if I didn't, and I just got the last of my ammo. Thank the Lord this guy had a shotgun, because it helps me out. I love the spaz. But anyway, you really got to aim in. Um, I mean, you want to aim in pretty quick. Well, duh, you have to aim in. You got to aim in pretty quick, and you have to shoot right away. And the great thing about the M16 is it's such a powerful weapon that you can kill someone in, like, a couple shots. One burst fire pretty much anywhere. Like, you can probably shoot them in the leg. And they'll die. But the thing is, the problem with burst fire guns is that you're not autom it's not an automatic. So it's like you miss and the person realizes that you're trying to shoot them and they have they're at least decent at whatever game you're playing, in this case Modern Warfare 2, they're gonna pull out their weapon, shoot you in the face, and make you cry like a little baby. So you don't wanna cry like a little baby. So Practice with, I'm not going to say quick scoping, but practice with like aiming with this gun. Because it's really hard, especially since I only have the thermal scope and nothing else. Like, if, if there was a grip for the M16, then I'd probably be using bling so that I could use the grip and the thermal scope. Because that's what I do with all my light machine guns when I would use the thermal scope. Since it just, it's like, if you use a thermal scope or any scope, really, it's just so super bouncy and it just goes everywhere and you're just like, oh my god, this is crazy. So you gotta put the grip on so it evens out and you can hold it nice and you can shoot people down and mow them and, you know, 
do those awesome deadly things that you do. See, look at that. From so far away, one burst fire kills that guy. That might that guy probably died in two shots because I was shooting him at the neck. So if you can shoot someone anywhere from close range, you can easily, easily kill them. And yeah, that's why the M16 is so good. I, don't know, I guess I decided to knife that guy for some reason. I felt like doing it. I can't tell you why. It's so weird how old this gameplay is, but watching it over and over again makes me think like, oh man, maybe I want to go back to Marvel for 2, do a couple more episodes of the Thermal Experience or something. I mean, it looks so... It looks so foreign to me now, just I'm so used to Modern Warfare 3, and, uh, yeah. But, let's see, what else can I tell you? I got the frag grenade on, usually I have the Semtex, but I decided, trying to get some achievements with the frag, fragonator. I don't know if that's really that cool of a word, but I'm gonna say it is. See, that guy sort of sucks, because I took, like, three burst fire shots at him, and he... Well, he didn't, I didn't hit him, so he didn't die, and he could have easily just, like, you know, drop-shotted me. This is pretty funny. Um, I'm pretty sure I was going for the hot potato, uh, you know, achievement where you have to pick up grenades and throw them. And so that's a little cheat right there. If you want to get that, if you're actually going back and playing Mob Warfare 2, if anyone's watching this. But if you want to get the hot potato achievement and the title and emblem that you get for doing that kind of stuff you gotta throw the grenade down and then pick it up and that's how you do it it's not that hard but anyway i'm going to fail here mainly because it's like there's so much going on and there's so many people and i sort of messed up and i didn't just focus on one person when that sort of happens it's like you, it's going to be the luck of the draw. That's what's going to happen. It's like, you should focus on one person at a time instead of doing what I just did and trying to take out that big group and then going for that one person running. Like, I should have just kept going for that one person who is basically standing still. And so I just got totally confused and screwed up, and then they came over and killed me. Like, that could have been such a nice little clip right there. I could have gotten an easy, like, five or six kills or something because there were so many people right there, but I really just screwed up. And that's also what's nice about the thermal scope. Someone threw a smoke grenade, but I was like, screw you, I don't really care because I have a thermal scope so I can see it through. So yeah, just focus on one person at a time, and then and then hopefully you'll get lucky enough that they won't realize what's happening and you'll be able to kill them quite easily. And yeah, that's what I got. That's what I got. Oh, look at that AA-12. I haven't really used the AA-12 in Modern Warfare 3 much, but... Anyway, enough about that. So, the game's coming to a close. I hope I taught you a couple things about Modern Warfare 2 and using the thermal scope for the M16. As you can see, I go 50 and 8 with 7 assists, which is pretty big. But, yeah. So, like, fave, comment, subscribe, and do all that fancy YouTube jazz. This has been X6 Ghost Tricks. Peace out.